Hey y'all, it's Gigi Perfect Face. I'm back with another wig review. And today I'm going to be talking about this newer, well, this is a new wig from Colorbomb. And this is my first time trying the Colorbomb collection. Premium synthetic fibers. Of course, obviously this is a synthetic wig. It's definitely not giving me synthetic right now. It's giving me, I, I like what it's giving me right now, to be honest. And it says that it can go up to 400 degrees, you know, the usual. It says that the lace is HD transparent. I do like the lace on this wig. I thought it wasn't really gonna be up to my liking, but I do like the lace on the wig. Y'all already know, of course, it's available in the other colors, the red, the purple, a lot of pretty colors. Like I love all the, I wish they can do this with like their other units, like their frontals, but I love all the colors that it comes in. Um, and kind of candy pink. And this is what she's giving. I would say this wig is not a catfish. I did have to go flat in the wig, of course. I wasn't really feeling how it was looking without um, heat on it. So I did go and flat it. I put some makeup in a party. I did put some um, makeup on the lace before I installed it. Not too much, just like leftover makeup that I already, um, you know, that I already used and I already had it on the brush. So yeah, I just used some leftover makeup. I don't even think it was like, really ashy like that but i just went ahead and did it anyway it says that this wig is a 26 inch i would say that's true it does have layers so that causes it to look a little shorter but this side keeps flipping to the other side but i was going to go in and try to layer a little more for y'all but i did not want to mess up this wig i was going to curl it to like this one because i do like how this one is looking more put together but i love this wig y'all let me get into the claims of it Basically, it's, all it says is that it comes with natural baby hairs. It did come with like some pre-baby hairs, but I just went ahead and made my own. It says that it's um, salon inspired colors. I love the colors that it comes in. Like, uh, I love these colors so much. It is so pretty. I love the peekaboo of it. Like, it's not too much, but it's just enough. It just shows the colors. This wig doesn't really any big claims or anything. I would say this wig is a must. If you just want like a pop of color, it's not too much. It's just like, I love what it's giving. Like I don't have, I don't think I have no complaints. I honestly want to see this wig in like a frontal version with like maybe like natural. They don't seem to never really do the crazy colors on their frontal. So I would love to see like something like a peekaboo style with their frontals, but like with a natural color. Her name is Shandis. She's 26 inches. She looks just like the card. Lee, um... For this to be a tea party, I'm really loving this wig. Like, I really am. And I'm just showing you guys, this is the lace. It is ear to ear lace. I went ahead and glued it. I feel like that's, I don't know if that's the hair lifting or is that lace? So, that's some of the hair. I went ahead and glued this unit down and I'm glad that I did because I am loving how this is looking. This, I'm not lying, y'all. This is the wig that I would go back and get in another color. And it's probably going to be this diamond blonde, one beat to diamond blonde color. Because I'm loving this wig. As far as the feeling of the hair, I don't mind the feeling of the hair. Of course, it only have been like $30, if I'm not mistaken. I don't mind the feeling of the hair. I don't feel like it sheds a lot. I did get some shading, of course, because I had to pluck the unit a little bit. Well, I was really just plucking the edges out. The hairline of the wig didn't really have that extreme harshness to it. So for the colors of this wig, I love the colors. I love the little layered look that it's giving me. I don't really have no complaints. This wig is really leaving a good impression. On as far as the density of the wig, I do feel a little track right here. I feel a little something. This wig isn't too full at all. This is like not really an extreme thick density, but I also don't feel like it's too thin either because I'm not really getting a lot of gap itch either. So this is what it looks like with me standing up. This is where it falls. It stops like right here. It's supposed to be 26 inches. I would say that's true. This is what the back looks like. Now, I didn't really see the back of the wig. I'll come back and update y'all if I have an issue with it when y'all see it. So, this is the back of the wig. I'm not sure what it's looking like, but like on the side, this is what she's giving. And then this is this side. I showed you guys the back already. So, y'all, this wig, I'm rating her an A. I'm, I'm really feeling her. I'm here. This is like, she's just. For $43, I'm not comp So I wouldn't say this is a super thin wig, but I also wouldn't say it's a super thick wig. I like the density of this wig and for the color, actually, I don't mind the density. It's not an issue for me. I feel like I had thinner wigs than this. I'm honestly liking this better than the Vice unit that I had. And this is what the Vice units should give, but they don't. So the quality that Ultra used for this 
synthetic hair isn't, it's so much better than the Vice Unit. I'm gonna rate this wig an A. I don't know, I'm just really feeling this wig. I don't know about like natural days, you know, I don't know how that is gonna be looking then, but as far as the wig, y'all, I think I'm going to rate this an A. And if you watch my other reviews, you know that's usually never the case with these synthetic wigs. Like it's always something, but I just, as far as this layered effect, this this piece keeps flipping to the other side, so that's kind of annoying me, but girl, I'm loving this wig. This, I definitely will go pick this up in another color, and I usually never do that, but this one, I, I'm gonna make an exception to do. I'm really feeling this. I would recommend you guys get this if you just want something cutesy, like a little pop of color, but still have the one be natural with like a pop of color. I would recommend you guys look into this wig. And I think for the price, I'm not mad at this wig at all. Like I'm not mad at it. Like she's checking off all the boxes for me right now. Especially for this like pop of color. Like if you guys just wanted to try something, try a little pop of color, but you don't want a full head of it but just something slight, a little sneak peek, you know, peekaboo effect. I definitely want to see this wig in like a frontal, like even just like natural colors, it don't even have to be crazy. I don't know why they haven't took advantage and did that yet. Like, why don't we have something like this in the frontals? Do y'all not want to make money or which one is it? Cause that's all I got to say. Like, why didn't y'all make this in the frontal yet? Or at least something like natural. Like I understand that's why y'all have the color bomb collection for the crazy colors, but like I would love to see something like this in a natural type of state too. It's so much better than the Vice Unit wigs that I tried. Um, as far as that gray Vice Unit 13 that I had on, I did not like that wig, but if you guys want to try some color for synthetic, I definitely recommend this wig. Like, and I usually never really recommend these weeds, but this one, I'm definitely gonna have to go get her in another color. And I mean, and I'm and when I say I'm a gear, and I usually never do it, but with this one, I just have to make it that exception because she is just giving what she needs to give for me personally. This wraps up this video for today. Hopefully y'all liked it. I enjoyed talking about this wig. Shandis recommend you guys go get this wig if you just want like a pop of color and you don't want a forehead of color. I'll see y'all in my next one.